What's up everybody, Brandon here with ADHD Game Dev. I am so thrilled and delighted to have you here today. I want to talk to you about how do you actually learn to code? How do you get started? I am not a computer science person. I cannot write all the coding languages. Uh, I actually know GML pretty well. Uh, but you know, a coding language is this huge nebulous thing and you're, you're probably not ever going to get to a point of really knowing all of it. You're going to know a chunk of it and you're going to know enough to get your, your work done. And it really depends on who you are as a game designer, how much of it you're going to need to know. Um, and there's a, there, there is a real balancing act. The more you know, the better off you're going to be, the better your coding skills are. Because if you have sloppy code or you don't know how to read it or edit it, it's going to be a confusing process. And writing the code is part of making a video game. So that's just kind of how it goes. So how do you get into it? Because people will say, oh, just learn to code or just get into it. Just start. I'm like, that's the worst advice. People say stuff like, well, just start. Just start where? Uh, that's the most random advice. And I always hated it. Um, what? You, so here you go. I'm going to give you the actual rundown of what's what do you actually do? <laughs> um, well, what you actually do is you start out with some tutorials. There's YouTube tutorials and there's uh, other places that will give you for free, for cheap, for a lot of money. <laughs> there's a range of um, tutorial classes and things to do. And there's different qualities of ones that you, you might try for whatever you're working on. And if they're, if they're in a situation where they're just like, okay, just copy this, copy this, copy this, copy this, and not explaining, that's a bad tutorial, and you should go ahead and bail. Uh, but if they're trying to explain as you're going along and they're not being super code heavy, like, for example, the Bracky's tutorial in Godot, he's always terrific. Um, what you should be getting out of that is not that you understand everything that you're doing, but you kind of get the gist of it. That's all. That's all. You should get the gist of it. So when you're just starting out with a tutorial like that, he's giving you a top-down overview of all of the highlights of the software so you can kind of get your feet wet. And when it comes to coding, you're supposed to just kind of get the idea. What you should be getting as you're doing that tutorial or a first tutorial or a second tutorial is that you should kind of be able to make some sense out of it. There's no way you could write it on your own. That's not what we're going for here. But you should be able to kind of read it and figure out roughly what that means. And what that means is that you can go in there and you could make an edit to it. You could change something. You could change a value and get a result. Okay. Change a value, get a result. Or if you're getting a little bold, maybe add a line. And what you're going to do at that point is you're going to start doing a question answer kind of a kind of a process as you go along. Okay, how do I make my character speed up instead of just come to full speed? How do I make a bullet spawn? How do I make a collision? You might be doing a lot of Google searches on each and every one of these steps as you kind of answer each little piece of that puzzle. Or you, you might be getting error messages. That's another thing that's really important. So you're either searching how do I do a thing or how do I fix a problem that came up. So reading an error message that happens is going to be a good skill to develop to kind of make sense of it. And a lot of times the, the error message is going to be kind of like, I don't know what the heck they're talking about. Um, <laughs> it might be, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Half the time an error message will be something as silly as you, you had to tab here or you had to add a colon there or you can't write equals you have to write equals equals it's just a matter of you didn't know the syntax okay so as you continue to add little bits from tutorials that you do you'll start to kind of recognize some repeating patterns and repeating common top tier because the activities that you're going to do are going to be top tier similar over and over again moving a character right you're always going to want to move a character uh, you know, how to write, how to animate something that's always going to come up. So you're going to start to recognize it bit by bit. And the good thing is that after you do a couple, you know, two or three tutorials, you'll start to kind of get a log of code that you've edited, that you've written, or you've searched to try to get to. And it's going to become kind of your inventory of stuff that you could, even if you don't, even if you couldn't write it by yourself, you could at least copy and paste it onto a new project, make some changes to the values, and get a different result that works better for that project. Okay, that's all you need to do at the start. As you get better with it, you start to say, well, how can I improve the behavior of the character of the player? How do I make this better? 
And that's where you start to try to improve and to read some other people's code and to see what they're doing. And what you're gonna do is try to figure out just reading code that you got off, literally off of a, a web forum people are discussing and they're like, oh, we'll try this. You're, you're just trying to understand what they did. Even if you don't recognize every single line of it, you can get the gist of it. Like, oh, they changed from, for example, a, a, a change might be moving an X value an XY value in a video game is kind of just jump, 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 and it's really not the best way to do it. If you're using a vector, a vector two, vector three, three, that means it's a speed and a direction concept, so it's actual movement. So instead of teleporting, you know, do, 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 the game is giving it <laughs> momentum, and that momentum concept is going to be something that you'll see, and it doesn't matter if it's in, in Game Maker, if it's in Godot, if it's in Unity, you'll see this vector three concept a lot or in game maker it might be h speed v speed or speed and direction which is a vector uh, other software are going to call that a vector too my point being is that the more you see a word like that over and over and over again you start to kind of say all right what is it it becomes more familiar to you and you get to where you're like okay this is not this is not the worst thing ever and now i'm starting to recognize it so step one you're not expected to understand it you're just supposed to kind of understand the logic of what is going on on the page, even if you couldn't write it yourself. Step two is to go ahead and make some edits and changes to it. And then step three is to be able to copy and paste some collections and to start to build something. It might be a little bit Frankenstein <laughs> at first, but it's later on when you get better, when you start kind of backing up and saying, well, how can we really organize things and, and be smarter about the way we're doing stuff. So anyway, I hope that that helps you to feel a little bit more confident. If you feel like you're starting out and you're like, I don't know what's going on. I'm completely like, what? Confused. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Somebody should have told you that, that it's okay if you don't completely understand it. Just try to read through the code that you're saying and see if you can make any sense of, of it at all. Okay. And understand like, oh, this is, they set the speed and here they applied the speed. That's that's all you need to get at it at the beginning, okay? So I hope that really helps you, and I hope that you will be awesome today. Also, if you wouldn't mind, if this is a video that you liked, and say if there's two videos of mine that you liked, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would mean so much to me. I appreciate it. This is about game development. I talk ADHD stuff. I talk indie game dev. Uh, so giving it a like would, would put more of that into your feed. If you don't want to see more of that in your YouTube feed, I get it. But anyway, I appreciate it. Leave a comment or something. At, at least let me know that, that it helped you, even if you don't want to subscribe. But I hope that you will have a great day. Bye, everybody.